I've been sent this Caterpillar T20 Tough Tablet. It was sent in to me by Rich, and Rich says he works in IT. He got this Caterpillar T20 Tough Tablet as it just stopped working by a staff member. I was told it was only used for a week and then it didn't switch on. I had a quick check over and looks to me like the charging power socket is loose in the tablet. Maybe broken, seems too wobbly. I suspect it just ran out of charge, hence not switching on. It has since sat in someone's desk until they gave it to me. It has a European power adapter. I have also included a USB to charge pin cable. Tested the power adapter, seems fine. I was going to scrap it. Seems too interesting to just throw away. And soldering, etc. isn't my thing, so over to you. Okay, looks simple to get enough to get into. We'll see about that. So first things first, let's try and turn it on. Uh, how do you do that? On. And surprisingly, it doesn't come on. Right, let's find the power adapter. So this is the USB one. I'm going to try that one first. It's a little bit loose, but not massively. Right, let's plug that into this amp meter. Right, we're drawing 0 0.1. Oh. Oh, it's all over the place. So it's going back to zero, climbing, and then dropping back to zero. Like it's trying to charge, but something inside here is saying, nope, you're not doing it. Hmm, that is interesting. Or is it? I don't see any point in messing around anymore. Let's take this thing apart and let's see if we can figure out what's going on. screws okay so the charging port is on this side here and it goes straight in here so we're gonna have to take this board out I think because it looks like the components certainly the charging port itself is on the other side here interesting okay let's carry on dismantling right where does the battery connect under there Let's just see what we've got in that battery before we go any further. Multimeter in voltage DC. Okay, so we've got a lot of different contacts here. Uh, the end one we get four millivolts, microvolts, whatever they are. Four. Four. Right, well, to me, there doesn't appear to be any voltage in that battery whatsoever. Is it just going to be a battery problem then? Let's unplug it. Let's check it out of the board. Yeah, there's, there's nothing on that battery. It may just be as simple as that. How do we take this battery out? I'm guessing it's going to be stuck down. I might need to use some heat. Yes, it's very much stuck down. Right, before I take it out, I'm going to use one of these charging board things. I'm going to connect it up to the two outer points of here. I'm going to see if it takes a charge. I'm not convinced it will. This is a new one, so I need to put some kind of wire or capacitor legs on, on here before I do that.
let's just connect that up. And this is USB C, this one. So we've got negative is this side, positive is this side. Right, I think we're in. Let's try that. Okay, USB C. Right, we get a blue light, but this light here is flashing red. Ah, oh, right, okay, we're not in there properly. Let's try again. There we go. Red light. Right, and that is drawing 0 0.86 amps. That's quite a lot, so I think that might actually be charging it. Right, I'm going to leave that for a bit, and I'm going to see what it does. I'll keep an eye on it, obviously, because this sort of thing is quite dangerous. If it explodes, I'll keep the camera rolling. Okay, it's been on now for about 20, 25 minutes. The amp drawer has dropped down to 0 0.6. I'm going to see what voltage is in this battery now. Multimeter on voltage. DC. There we go, 3.7 volts. So is this going to be a case of the battery needed kickstarting? I mean, that's still not particularly high, but it's probably enough to turn it on. Let's try. Power. Got a red light here. There we go. It's come on. There's the Windows logo. Right, well, let's try and plug the proper charger in now. And see what it does. Red charging light. Oh, it's flashing though. Right, we're drawing 0 0.8. 0 0.8. And we do have a charging symbol there, I believe. Let's unplug it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to leave that now. Interesting, it thinks it's Friday the 18th of May. It's currently Sunday the 15th of September. Right, let's leave it charging. Right, it's been on for quite a while now. And the battery has gone up. It's like three quarters full maybe a little bit more and everything seems fine let's see if it actually works how do you oh qc department nice he did send me the password but i'm guessing it's the password that they use for all of the company equipment so i'm not going to give that away even though i don't know what company it is and, and neither do you but all right there we go hopefully that works Yes, it does. Awesome. What is this, like Windows 8 or something? Wow. Um, well, let's play not Minecraft. Solitaire. There's also a battery symbol down here, which is showing it as almost full. Is there a way of... There you go, 85%. Nice. So it wasn't really that exciting, was it? But this thing obviously failed. But what made it fail? Did the battery just get so low that it wouldn't take a charge anymore? I'm, I'm guessing that's what's happened. Then it's been sat in a drawer for God knows how long. And it just needed a kickstart. Because it's working fine now. I wonder if there's a way to do that without taking it apart. I'm guessing not. Because there must be something on the board that says, no, don't charge that battery, it's far too low. I mean, the battery now might be compromised and it, I mean, it might die much quicker, but it's not gone down yet. And it's on, it's still saying 85%. So whilst I didn't really have to do much, I did have to do something and I think a lot of people would probably have just thrown this away. And to be honest, I'm quite happy for the easy win. Because I've worked on a couple of things lately where I've had to order some parts in and they're not so easy. So I'm going to take it. It's gone down to 84% now. So anyway, yep, yeah, stupid windows. Yeah.
Now move in, now move out Hands up, hands down Back up, back up Tell me what you're gonna do now Breathe in, now breathe out Hands up, hands down Back up, back up Tell me what you're gonna do now Keep rolling, 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 rolling Keep rolling, 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 rolling Keep rolling, 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 rolling Keep rolling, rolling, rolling